Yannick Sinner versus Taylor Fritz is a US Open final for the men for 2024. Both players have a different road to get to this stage. Fritz into the tournament as the number 12 seed and will take on Ugo Carabelli in the first round. This is no problem getting to him in straights. 7 5 6 1 6 2. In the second round, he take on Matteo Berrettini, who'd been really good over the last couple of months. And after a close second set, Fritz would get through in 3 6 3 7 6 6 1. In the third round, he take on Comasagna, who had just taken out Umber in the previous round. This is again no problem for Fritz getting to him in straights. 6 3 6 4 6 2. In the fourth round, he take on Rude, the number 8 seed, who had just played a 5 setter in the previous round. And after dropping the first set, Fritz would come back to win. 3-6-6-4-6-3-6-2 to advance to the quarterfinals. In the quarterfinals, Fritz would take on Zverev, the number four seed, who had just beaten at Wimbledon in a five-set epic a couple months ago. And this was a battle. After splitting the first two sets, Fritz would take it out in a close four setter, 7-6-3-6-6-4-7-6 to advance to the semifinals. In the semifinals, Fritz would take on Tiafo, the number 20 seed, who had been into the semifinals two years ago. After splitting the first four sets, Fritz would run away with the fifth, 4-6-7-5-4-6-6-4-6-1 to advance to his first Grand Slam final. Sinner into the tournament as the number one seed and would take on McDonald in the first round. And after dropping the first set, would come back to win. 2 6 6 2 6 1 6 2. In the second round, he'd take on Mickelson, but this time, no problem getting to him in straights. 6 4 6 love 6 2. Third round, he'd take on O'Connell, who'd taken out Jarry along the way. And again, no problem for Sinner getting through in straights. 6 1 6 4 6 2. In the fourth round, he'd take on Tommy Paul, 14th seed. And this was a battle, with Sinner having to fight back in the first set and winning a couple of tie breaks to eventually run away with it. 7 6 7 6 6 1 to advance to the quarterfinals. In the quarterfinals, Sinner would take on Mevid the number five seed, who'd played two epic five setters against in the previous two Grand Slam matches they played. And after splitting the first two sets, Sinner would win in four. 6 2, 1 6, 6 1, 6 4, to advance to the semi finals. In the semi finals, Sinner would take on Draper, the 25th seed, who'd been super impressive not losing a set to this stage. However, Sinner was too good, getting through in straights. 7 5, 7 6, 6 2, to advance to the final. These two guys have only played twice before with the head dead split down the middle 1 1. Both matches at Indian Wells over a couple of years, with Sinner winning their last match last year in a three setter. So so not much we can really take out of that because, of course, Sin has been so much better over the last 12 months since that match. If Fritz is going to win this one, he needs to serve well. He kind of fell apart a little bit in the first set and in the third set of the Tiafo match. Also, he needs to limit the errors. There was way too many errors against Tiafo, and he's lucky enough that Tiafo kind of ran out of gas and also hit a lot of errors himself. So he's not going to get those errors from Sinner, and Sinner doesn't run out of gas anymore. So he's going to have to serve well and play well if he's going to win. If Sinner's going to win this one, he needs to get off to a good start and really put the pressure on Fritz and try and quiet the crowd because, of course, the crowd are going to be a massive massive deal in this one. It's going to be a New York crowd, finals, Americans. So he's going to have to win the first set and try and get the crowd to silence in the first little bit so that he can get the win in the end. Love the matchup. It's going to be really interesting to see how Fritz does in his first final. Sinner trying to make it two slams in the year. I have to go with Sinner in this one in four sets. I reckon Fritz might get off to a good start, but I think that Sinner will get through in the four and win his second trophy of the year, second grand slam of his career. Let me know in the comments below though, who's going to win the title?